Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing. Out of my life, when Jesus shine, make me a blessing to someone today. Oh, hallelujah. Make me a blessing. Amen, amen, amen. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing. Make me a blessing to someone today. Out of my life, let Jesus shine. Make me a blessing today. Welcome, my brethren. Welcome to our teleconference. God bless you for joining us. We thank God for you. We thank God that you're able to join us in this teleconference. And we are here for no other reason but to lift up the wonderful name of Jesus. His name is worthy to be praised from the upset, uprising of the sun to the going down of the very same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So before we begin, I'm going to have a short prayer asking God to take charge of this teleconference service. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless your holy name. Your name is worthy to be praised from the uprising of the sun to the going down of the same. We praise your glorious name. Pray you bless us and lead us. Inspire us with your word. Help us, Lord, to give you the praise and the glory and the honor that's due to your name. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. I'm going to I uh, invite Sister Rose to sing a song for us, a short song before I go into the word. Sister Sister Rose, sing a short, short song for us. God bless you. Sing a short chorus for us before we go into the word. God bless you. Bless you, Sister Rose. Lovely song. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. And we have every reason, every right to love Jesus because he's such a good God. He's so mighty. He's so powerful. He's so loving. He's so caring. You know, the Bible says, as as a father pitied his son, so the Lord pitied them that fear him. And when we know we don't, we fear God because we reverence him, because he's a great God. We give him the praise and the glory and the honor that's due unto his name. God bless you. God bless you, sister. Continue to sing for the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to start with our, you know, our message today. And the message is, there is power in praise. I repeat, there is power in praise. When we praise the Lord, we get a blessing. 
One writer says, when the praises go up, the blessing comes down. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're going to talk about praising the Lord and praising the Lord. You know, it is our duty to praise the Lord. It is what is why God created us to be His praise, to give Him praise. It's the reason why we exist, is to give God praise. And I'm just going to read a few verses from Psalm Psalm 48. You know, I love, I love the Psalms because the Psalms always glorify God. The, 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 Psalm, the Psalms we read, some of them are songs, but they, they sing of the praise and the glory of God. They, they, ex, they lift up God. They lift up Jesus. They, they exalt Him. And that's why, that's, why we, that's why we must do from day to day. We must exalt the name of Jesus, the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. The righteous run it in there and are saved. The name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we're going we're gonna to start with Psalm 148. And listen to this psalm. It reads thus. One, psalm 148. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him from in the heights. Praise he him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens. And he waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth he dragons and all the deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains are all and all hills, fruitful tree and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowls. Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maiden, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the heavens. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise he the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we, we, we thought, we're thinking about the power in praise. There's power in praise. Now, when, when we praise God, we get a blessing. When we lift up Jesus, when we lift up the name of the Lord, we get a blessing because we are doing what God created us to do. Praise Him. So he, he, Psalmist says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. From the heavens. High, high, high above the earth. Above the whatever we see the heavens the heavens where god throne is praise he the lord in the heavens where his angels abode to take his orders to take his word out and to bring it in accomplish the angels take the word of god and bring it back accomplished Every time God speaks, the angels take the word. The angels are ministering spirits. They take the word and make sure it is fulfilled. Praise He the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. As high as you can go. 
praise him in the heights praise him all the angels so all the angels in heaven are praising God the archangels the cherubims the seraphims we know there's different grade of angels but they're all praising God they're all glorifying God they're all lifting up the name of our Lord Praise ye him, all his angels, all his angels. Praise ye him, all the hosts, all the hosts of heavens. It's praising God. Everything that he create is praising him because he made us all for his praise. Praise ye him. It says on in verse 3, 1 Psalm 148 verse 3 says, Praise ye him sun and moon so even the sun that we see in the sky and the moon that comes out at night is praising God they're praising God because God created them praising him all ye stars of light and if we think about the, 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 the universe and the galaxy and the innumerable amount of stars, there is maybe as the, the stars in the sky is innumerable, cannot be counted. They cannot be counted. But all the moon and the stars will praise the Lord. And so should we, my brethren, because there's power in praise. Verse 4 says, Praise ye, praise him, he heavens of heavens. And if you think about sometimes we used to use we used to stress our, 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 our understanding, our spiritual eye to imagine the heavens and the heavens of the heavens. There's a heaven and there's heaven of heavens. Paul wrote about he knew a man who went up into the third heavens and saw things which was unlawful to utter so the whole universe is full of the praise of almighty god praise ye the heavens and the waters that is above the heavens let them praise the name of the lord for he commanded and they were created this is how god is good and how god is great and how god is awesome he commanded, he spoke, and they were created. It's wonderful when we know how powerful our God is, how great our God is. And all we need to do is to serve him with a, with a truthful heart. All we need to do is to love him like how he loved us. He went on to say, he also established them forever and ever he has made a decree which shall not pass the laws that god made shall not pass they shall abide forever they shall be established the word of god is forever established settled in the heaven it says go on to say verse 7 praise the lord from the earth so the earth the heavens praise the lord the entire family of heavens the angels and the host of heavens they're all praising the lord it comes down to the earth it said praise the lord from the earth it comes down to us who are on the earth praise he the lord it went on to say the dragon the the dragon the awful dragon and all deeps, fire and hail, stone, snow, vapor, stony wind, fulfilling his word. Everything is under the commandment of Almighty God. Everything that we see and the things that we don't see are all under the command of the Almighty God. Isn't he awesome? The fire that we see that sometimes you see this fire sometimes you see these great fires that spread out and taking down big pop, patch of land it just burned down big forests and everything god 
command. God has the command, have control. Hailstones, snow, when we see snow, it's a creation of God, it's God's creation. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping thing and flying fowl. Everything. And in everything that God created in some way is glorifying God. Every beast of the field, every every thing that in the sea and everything that creepeth on the ground are praising God in some way because He He created them for His glory, for His praise. Kings of the earth and all the people, princes and all the judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children, everything, let everything that has breath praise the Lord because there is power in praise. If we just think about this world, how beautiful this world would be, even though it is such, it is so, this world is falling apart as we can, as I speak. And how beautiful this world would be if men would praise God. If men would do what God created them to do, praise God. Because if we only gave God the praise, the, the world would not be in the state it is today where people are fearful, where there's starvation in some parts of the world, where there's wars and rumors of wars and all things are going on, everything. There's natural disaster, there's floods and all sorts of things. There's fires, everything. This world is falling apart. And it would not be if men would praise the Lord. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his benefits towards the children, for his goodness and his benefits and the benefits we have derived from him. Only if men would praise the Lord. Can you imagine the world it would be if all the governors, the prime ministers, the presidents and all the people in this world, those who are in authority, imagine if they would just praise the Lord, how different things would be. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. The glory of God is above the earth and above the heaven. The glory of God fill this entire universe. The glory of God the praise and the glory of God. It is awesome. It is beyond our natural imagination. The glory of God. Praise Him. Praise them. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For His name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and above the heavens. He is so high. He is so wide. He is so deep. We can surpass, no man can surpass the height of the Lord. His height is, is above all. The Lord is above all. The heavens and the earth. He ex exalted. And his glory above the earth and the heaven. He also... Exalt the horn of his people and the praise of his saints. Even the children of Israel are people near unto him. So, people who obey God and serve God. The, the Bible says he will exalt the horn of his people. No matter what happened, God will, God will bless his people. And the blessing that he placed upon his people, no man can take it away. Who God bless, no man curse. So the blessing will be upon his people. The people who fear him, who serve him, who honor him. His praises shall be in their mouth. The praises of all his saints, even the children of Israel. A people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. There is power in praise. And as children of God, if we who know God, 
We should have the praise of God continually in our heart. We should be continually praising Him, thanking Him, lifting Him up, you know, glorify Him in our heart. We should have a heart of praise. In Psalm 65, the psalm, the psalm says, Psalm 65, Praise, praise, wait, wait it for thee, O Lord, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vows be performed. Praise, wait it for thee. Lord, mighty God, the eternal Father, the Prince of Peace, the altogether lovely, the El Shaddai, the wheel in the middle of the wheel, the altogether lovely, the bright and morning, hallelujah, the bright and morning star, praise waited for thee. We wait to praise the Lord. We wait to glorify God. We wait to lift Him up to give Him the glory, to give Him the praise, to give Him the honor, because our God is a good God. Praise wait it for Thee, O God, in Zion, and unto Thee shall all shall the bow vows be performed. O Thou that hearest prayer, unto Thee shall all flesh come. The God of heaven, the mighty God, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel, the God of Moses. All flesh will come to him. He said, O thou that hears prayer, it's only in God can we have confident, confidence. It's only in God. The Bible says, put not your trust in man. Put not your trust in man, put your trust in the living God. O thou God who hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come, unto thee shall all petitions come, unto thee shall all the requests come, unto thee shall all the prayer come, unto thee shall all the praises come. He went on to say, Iniquities prevail against me, as for our transgression thou shalt Purge them away. Hallelujah. Iniquity prevail against me. The powers of darkness is a, come up against me and prevail it. But as for our transgression, thou shalt purge them. Thou shalt wash them away. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein and sinners plunge beneath their flood, lose all their guilt to stain. Imagine the fountain of blood, and you plunge into the fountain of blood, and all the guilt to stains are purged away. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to the Almighty God. It went on to say, verse Verse 4, Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and cause to approach unto thee. Oh my God. Brethren, if we, if we hear the voice of God, we are blessed. We are blessed, we are blessed, we are blessed. If we hear the voice of God and if we answer to the voice of God, we are blessed. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest. If we hear the voice of God and we answer to the voice of God, we are blessed. And God has caused to approach unto Him. God has caused us to come to the throne of grace and make our petition known unto Him. Blessed is a man whom thou choosest and causeth to approach unto Him, that He may dwell in the courts, in thy courts that we may dwell in his courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of our God, even of thy holy temple. Blessed is the man whom the Lord choose. Lord, when we know that God has called us, called us from the world, come in, called us from unholiness, 
to come to into holiness. How blessed are we? We don't need anything else. We have the blessing of God. We have everything. There's no millionaire, billionaire have what we have when God has chosen us. No matter how much the life can give, nothing is greater but blessed is the man who God chose and caused to approach unto me. And he went on to say, By terrible things in righteousness thou wilt answer us, O God of our salvation, who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of all that are far off upon the sea, by which his strength set it fast the mountain be girded with power. We still at the noise of the sea, the noise of the wave, the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid of thy token. Thou makest the outgoing of the morning and the evening to rejoice. How great is our God, how great is his name. And all we need to do is to give him the praise. He has done everything. He has conquered death and the grave. He has given us victory over sin. He has given us victory over sickness. He has given us victory over all evil. He has given us victory over the powers of darkness. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord is to be praised. He is worthy of our praises and we should always have a heart of thanksgiving and praise to Almighty God. In Psalm 33 it says, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. If we are righteous, rejoice. If we love God, rejoice. It doesn't matter about what is happening around us. If we love God, Rejoice in the Lord, all ye righteous. For praise is comely for the upright. When we are upright, we can pray. We have, we have, you know, to praise God is a blessing. Not everyone can praise God. It's only the people of God have a heart of praise to God. For anyone to come to God and their praise be accepted, they have to be born again, have a new life, put up the old, put away the old man and take on the new man, which is Jesus. Put away the old man, be born again. Like Jesus says to Nicodemus, Nicodemus was a, was a, was a teacher of the law and he came to Jesus and as Jesus saw him, Jesus saw his need. And said, you must be born again. You must be born again. If you must be born of the water and of the spirit, you must be born again. Every man that come to God must be born again. The old Adamic nature must be put to sleep, put, must be laid dead. And we must rise anew in the image of God, in the image of Christ. Praise, rejoice in the Lord, O He righteous. For praise is comely for the upright. If we are hard, if we are not upright, then we cannot praise God. We cannot praise God. We have to be upright and righteous. Praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto him with psaltery, an instrument of ten strings. Sing. Sing unto the Lord and praise him with the psaltery. Instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song and play skillfully with a loud noise. Hallelujah. Sing unto him a new song and play, play skillfully with a loud noise. Make some noise and glorify God. 
And when you think about people when they go to a football match or whatever to watch their favorite team play, and the amount of noise they make over a ball and a man kicking a ball, can you imagine the noise that they make fill the stadium? And that is only one man kicking a ball. How about us? We have got salvation. We are redeemed. Not by silver, not by gold, but by the blood of Jesus. So we can sing unto the Lord a new song and play skillfully with a loud noise. Hallelujah. For it went on to say, the word of the Lord is right and all his work is done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. He loved righteousness. God loved righteousness. God loved truth. God loved justice. God loves peace. He's a God of peace. He is the Prince of Peace. The earth is full of the goodness of God. No matter what's going on. No matter what we see the world falling apart. The earth is still full of the goodness of God. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of his goodness. And despite everything that's going on, the goodness of God is shining like the sun. The love of God is sharp blooming as a flower on the field. The peace of God is radiant all over the world. It says, by the word of God were the heavens created, in verse 6, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. The worlds, the heavens, everything was created by the word of God. The word of God is powerful. The Bible says the word of God is like a two-edged sword, cutting and dividing even the soul and the marrow. The word of God. There's nothing more powerful than the word of God. By the word of God was the heavens made. Just his word and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Everything in the heavens and on the earth was made through his word. He went on to say he gathered the water of the sea together as a heap. He heaped up the waters. Because in the beginning it says the world was all water covered the earth. And God by his word, heap up the waters of the sea and lay them up the depth into storehouses. Oh Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done, he commanded and it stood fast. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him because he's awesome he is great he's powerful for he spake and it was done he commanded and it stood fast praise he the lord there is power to praise. There's power in praise. And when we praise the Lord with our heart and from the depth of the heart, God open our understanding. God enlighten us to his presence, to his glory, to see how great he is, to open our understanding. When we praise him, God do great things for us. God open windows. God open doors. That we never imagined. Just by praising him. Just by praising him. In Psalm 46. God is our refuge and our strength. A very, very present help. A very present help in trouble. God is our refuge 
and our strength, a very present help, hallelujah, in trouble. Very present help, instant help. Not a help that is coming, but a present. If we are in trouble, we can call upon the Lord. He is our refuge and strength. And the psalmist went on to say, Therefore will we will not we fear. Hallelujah. We, therefore, because God Almighty is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, therefore will not we fear. Therefore will not we fear. Though the earth be removed, imagine the earth, though the earth be moved, removed, and the mountains in front of us be carried into the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. And though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, I, I don't know, sometimes we just imagine some water that is really troubled, you know, some water that is really boisterous. And the waves is heaping high like a tsunami. And when we see it, we say, my, awesome. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, the mountains, sh the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. But it says, there's a river that the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her in that right early. So just imagine this. The waters are troubled and roar and are troubled. The mountains, the mountains are shaken. The rivers and the stream thereof will make glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. God shall help his people and right early. God shall help his people. The heathen rage, the kingdom were moving, uttered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. Praise his name. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Have the confidence. The heathen rage. Right now we can see in the world the heathen rage. The kingdom are moved. Kingdoms are moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. Almighty God uttered his voice and the earth melt. Have you ever seen something melt like you know, you put um, butter in the heat, how it melt and dissolve into not into liquid. God Almighty utter His voice and the earth melt. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Give Him the praise. Come behold the work of, works of the Lord. What desolation is made in the earth. He maketh war, wars to cease to the ends of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the cedars asunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Only God Almighty has this power. Only God Almighty. Come behold the works of the Lord. What desolation. He has made this world earth desolate. What desolation is made in the earth. He God. The Lord. He maketh wars. Wars to cease. God Almighty has power. You see we think about what is going on with um, Ukraine and Russia and China and all the war talks of wars and talks of rumors of war god almighty make it the wars to cease he has the power no one else has no one else has the power
to make wars cease. It doesn't matter how much they talk. But the Bible says, He maketh wars to cease unto the ends of the earth. He breaketh the bows. He cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariots in the fire. And he went on to say, Be still. Be still. Be still, brethren, people of God. Be still. Be still, know that I am God. Be still. The earth is moving. The earth is shaking. The, earth, the mountains are rocking. The seas are boisterous. The winds are blowing. There's fire. There's everything. This world is it's moving. It's rocking. Be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Oh, glory be to God. Isn't it comforting, my brethren? This is why we have to praise God. Isn't it comforting to, despite what is going on in the world, God is telling us to be still and know that He is God. We only have to give Him thanks and praise. There's, pro there's power in praises. We only have to give Him thanks and praise and serve Him in spirit and in truth. Be still and know that He is God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalms 150 Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Hallelujah. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Praise Him with string instruments and organs. Hallelujah. Praise Him with the loud cymbal. Praise Him with the high sounding cymbal. Hallelujah. Praise, let everything that has a breath, praise He the Lord. I love this psalm. This psalm is a psalm of praise. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise Him in the sanctuary, in His presence, in the presence of His people. Praise Him. Praise Him on the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him for that. Praise Him according to His excellent goodness. Praise Him with the loud sounding trumpets. Praise Him with the song string, the harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and the dance. Hallelujah. Dance, man. Dance and praise the Lord. Dance unto the Lord. You, know, you remember when David danced unto the Lord when they got when they brought back the covenant, the ark of the covenant, hallelujah, into Israel, and David saw that the presence of God was back in Israel, and David danced. I want to dance like King David danced. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with the string instrument and the organ. Praise him. Praise him in the dance. David danced. And he forgot. He didn't forget. But he just wanted to give God the glory. But he forgot himself. You know sometimes we have to forget ourselves when we glorify God. We sing let's forget about ourselves and glorify the Lord and worship him. David forget himself and he wanted to give God the glory. He wanted to give God the praise. So David danced in this praise unto God and his wife was disdain him and said why you be the king dancing like that like these honor people David said I will dance before the Lord I will dance praise him in the timbrel and the dance praise him with the string instrument because when, he, when the love of God is bubbling in us we can't do nothing but praise him when we, when we realize the love of God towards us, we can't do nothing but praise Him. When we realize how the love, the love He has, what He has done for us, 
how he how he cares for us how he's mindful of us how he sends his angels to guide us and to protect us we can't do nothing but praise him and David realized the goodness of God when they received back the Ark of the Covenant into Israel he danced praise him with the timbrel and the dance praise him with the string instruments hallelujah praise him with the loud symbol praise him on the high sounding symbol and let everything that has breath praise the Lord oh that old man would praise the Lord oh that men would praise the Lord what a wonderful world this would be if men would praise the Lord and it takes me back to the time when God when God took the children of Israel out of Egypt and um, when they came across God took them across the Red Sea and they took them across he, he divided the sea by his by his word and the sea opened up and both sides there's a mountain of water hallelujah the children went through on dry land and when they got over the other side and the Egyptian tried to follow them through the through the through the sea God covered them up cover up the water and they were all drowned hallelujah hallelujah the God of Jacob is our refuge and after that Moses sang a song unto the Lord Moses sang a song and Israel sing unto the Lord because they saw the power awesomeness of God in dividing the Red Sea and destroying the enemies in front of them and in Exodus, Exodus chapter 15 Moses sang for the horses of Pharaoh went with his chariots and the horsemen into the sea and the Lord brought again the waters upon them but the children of Israel went on dry land into the midst of the sea hallelujah and Miriam that's Moses sister the prophetess the sister of, sister of Aaron took a timber in her hand and all the women went after her with the timbrel and with dancing. Oh, so they were rejoicing because the God gave them the victory. And Miriam, Miriam answered them, Sing he to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his riders has all has he drowned in the sea. Oh, praise the Lord. When we when we think about where God has taken us from, we should sing. Sing unto the Lord. Sometimes we don't realize where the Lord and what the Lord has done for us. We cannot count the blessing that God has bestowed upon us. If we are alive and well and listening to this teleconference, you are blessed. We are all blessed. And we do not maybe we do not realize the measure of blessing, but let us praise the Lord. There is power in praises. There is power in praises. Praise the name of the Lord. So let us praise the Lord continually because he's worthy of our praises. God bless you. I'm going to close now. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercy. Pray you bless us. Um, continue to be with us. Keep us through the, the week. I pray you guide us and protect us. Let your, let your mercy be with us, Lord. Bless everyone that joined this teleconference. We give you praise. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear brethren. God bless you and God keep you. God bless you, my son, Junior. Sister McLean, God bless you. You're there. My God bless you. God bless you all. You want to call, give us a short word before I cl close this, uh, McLean? A testimony or a word? Do you want to give us a testimony before I close? 
Are anything the Lord laid on your heart? It's always good to have you. Yeah, yeah, it can be short, just to say, let's give God the praise. Praise God. Praise God, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, yes. and what he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for his faith. Amen. And I today talking about the power of prayer. Yes. Prayer, God answers prayer. He does. When we pray earnestly from our heart, he will hear us as David. And in Psalm 66 and verse 20, Blessed be God, which has not turned away thy prayer, nor his mercy from me. Praise God. You know, David is saying, Blessed be God, who have not turned away, yes. turned away yeah. his prayer. Praise God. When we pray, God delivers. Amen. Praise God. And in Psalm 66 um, verse Verse 19, and it said, David said, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will be my hero. That's right. So for our prayer to be answered and be effective and take take a and take hold on what we are praying about, our hearts have to be clean. Yes. A pure heart, a clean heart, not a deceitful heart, not a heart that, that, um, Keep uh, the things, uh, bad things in it. You know, revenge. You know, leave all vengeance to the Lord. Yes. Turn it over to the Lord. Praise God. Whatever the situation, there are times, there are things that have been done to us, you know, even in the Christian pathway, that, you know, it's unbearable. Yeah. But, you know, God will give us the grace each day. It won't happen all at once. No. But Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Mark. It's always good to see you all here. Because I know you know the power of God. I know you know by faith what God has done and what God can do. And we know your struggles and how God has always been there for you. So we praise God for you, a woman of faith. May we all continue to trust God and lean not on our own understanding because he's, we know he's able whatever the condition we face we know God is able to take carry us through so let us continue to be faithful to him and we will get the blessing amen God bless you sister my God bless you my son Deli and God bless you sister Rose amen everyone have a wonderful week um, God bless you, Juna, my son. I'll talk to you in a little bit, yeah? Bless. God bless you, my son. Oh, yeah.